stars tonight. Our other top story, South Lake Union residents say they were surprised to see a large tiny home village vanish. The lot owned by Seattle City Light was suddenly scraped clean. Thanks for joining us on Fox 13 News at 5. I'm Nia Wong. And I'm Matthew Smith. Well, for the past four years, rows of rainbow-colored dwellings sat a few blocks from Mohai in the park. As Fox 13's Lauren Donovan reports, they seemingly vanished. Online, we saw you asking what happened to the village here at Aloha and 8th. There were 42 units. Where did they all go? I did some digging and found out not only where everyone went, but most importantly, that they didn't want to go. It's been like a really, really wonderful, supportive environment to have a tiny house village. So we were really disappointed um, that we were asked to leave. It's locked up now, but there's evidence it once existed. Tattered cardboard signs, inspirational banners still latched to the chain link fence. The Low Income Housing Institute, Lehigh, who once oversaw the rows of rainbow colored residences, points out. It's really valuable land in South Lake Union. Executive Director Sharon Lee explained they were leasing the property from Seattle City Light. Under the previous mayor, they made a commitment to sell the land. It's her understanding the private developer who purchased this plot insisted it be made vacant. And she questions that decision making. Even once the land is sold, it's going to take a while for the new owner to get permits and to, you know, get financing. Sharon says back in December, the city forced them to clear out with the promise that they'd help fund a new site. Even though it's smaller, um, it's working really well. It's um, now in Maple Leaf, but it's nowhere essentially located as South Lake Union. According to Sharon, it's been a struggle to maintain a presence in the sparkling center of Seattle's tech scene. When the 8th and Aloha town was first constructed back in 2018, there was some resistance. The city spent time trying to win over hesitant locals, and Lehigh wanted other options. They asked for City Light to lease them a another empty plot by the power station on Yale. But that request was shot down. We would like to see the um, new members of the city council step forward. We are really distressed because the King County Medical Examiner just announced that 415 homeless people died last year on the streets. And it's a 34% increase from the previous year. Sharon stressed the plummeting temperatures we experienced last week illustrate the growing need to get folks indoors. The recent, you know, freezing cold spell, um, five people died from exposure. And that's inexcusable. Reporting in South Lake Union, Lauren Donovan, Fox 13 News.